Hi everyone, Tyler Mannion here, NPC and IPB Pro League Vice President. And this will be your Dubai Pro Classic Physique Recap brought to you by New Tech. So in first place, we had Breon. And in second place, we had Vahid from, from Iran. So I think this is a, a good show to really show that at the top of Classic Physique, the top tier of guys really are on a different level, even from that next tier down, that second tier. Why do I say this? Because, you know, Breon was fourth at the Olympia. Really, I think there's about seven or eight guys at the top of Classic Physique right now, you know, that are very competitive with each other. The placings can can really move around and jumble up, but they're really, really good. I mean, really good. And you, whenever you're, you can see it in pictures, you can see it in the videos, but when you're there in person, you see the difference in the density and the shape and just the presentation, just the overall look of these guys compared to that next tier down, which Vahid is a very, very strong competitor. He was ninth at the Olympia last year. So Breon just looks super impressive in this lineup. I really like when these top guys get into these shows to, to stand next to other guys. It really, I think, makes you appreciate how good the top of classic physique really is at the Olympia. So going into feedback for Breon, I think this might have been his best conditioning of the year probably in the last year, year and a half that I've seen. He was really on point. Everything was full, but his conditioning was really, really good. The main thing for Breon is, of course, still bringing that size up in his quads. Not an easy thing to do, especially at his age, but the size is staying put. The size is staying there. It's just trying to just bring it up and fill it out just a little bit more. Also, in the side chest pose, I still think he can add just a little bit more of that thickness to the chest. You know, he has the striations in the detail there, but a little bit more thickness will, will also help. And obviously, you know, comparing him when you get in that group of the top guys, these are the kind of things that he needs. So he can, you know, try to move up in his Olympia standing this year. But overall, very, very impressive look. In second, we had Vahid. Vahid overall brought amazing conditioning. I think the main thing for him is just adding more size. So when he's standing next to Breon, you saw there was a size difference between the two of them. Even in the front pose, Breon's quads still need to come up, as I said before. But you see next to Vahid, he doesn't really... Vahid's legs still look small next to Breon's, even from the front. From the side and from the back, they definitely they definitely are small compared to Breon's. So the overall leg size for him definitely needs to come up. I feel also as well that his upper body can come up in muscularity too. So overall, he just needs more muscle to jump up from that second tier of guys, which obviously is very, very elite, into the top tier of classic physique Olympians, which are really impressive and really deep right now. In third place, we had Muhammad. So for Muhammad, he brought amazing conditioning. The main points of emphasis for him is he needs to improve his overall back. He needs more width to his back and he needs more thickness to his back. His back double bicep pose is definitely his weakest pose. The other poses were were de were very strong, were very strong. I feel like he could still bring his waistline in a little bit more for the front double. That's going to help accentuate everything too. So doing that while adding more width to the back is going to give him a much better look. He has a lot of muscle overall. He was very, very conditioned as well. I think the conditioning with these top guys was amazing at this show. His legs, especially his quads, are also very impressive. I feel like he can flex them a little bit differently in the front poses. He kind of flexes as people do when they put their legs out in front of them and flex like on an ab and thigh pose. He could extend, instead expand the quads a little bit more the way he's holding them. I feel like that would even give him a better look. But his quads are really impressive either way. So... He just brought a good look and needs to improve the back if he wants to move up and do well at shows going forward. In fourth place, we had Julio. So for Julio, he's another guy that, as you can see, he just needs uh, more muscle to fill out his frame. He definitely needs more overall legs. So this is front leg, side leg, back leg. He needs more muscle there overall for sure. He also needs uh, more width more depth to his back, especially the lower lats. I feel like he can hit his back double bicep better. When he hits it, he kind of flattens out his back a little more than he needs to. Obviously, he has great shape and great taper, but from the back pose, the way he's hitting it, you can see he needs more width and more depth to it. So 
really for him, again, it's filling out with more muscle. I think his conditioning was extremely good as well. Like I said, these top guys were all extremely conditioned. It was really, really impressive. He just needs more muscularity to fill out his frame as he has a taller and longer frame. And I think he has good potential moving forward as well. I know he's done well in Brazil the last couple of years. So hopefully he can keep improving and, and earn that Olympia qualification. That's the recap for Classic Physique. And this will be your recap for the Dubai Pro Men's Physique. So in first place, we had Aaron Banks. I think Aaron made some uh, improvements to his physique from the last time we saw him at the Olympia. I think he was overall more balanced uh, you know, in his front pose and even front to back as well. So in the front pose, I feel like uh, his arms and shoulders were showing better balance than what they had at the Olympia. I feel like his shoulders were a little overpowering at the Olympia and the arms looked a little thin. I think he filled them out a little bit more while keeping the shoulders the same so they didn't become overpowering. Uh, overall, the front pose was good. I feel like for him, he can still add just a little bit more thickness to his chest that will enhance his front pose look. And the main thing for him is to really bring crisp conditioning. So from the back, obviously his back pose is always good. I think he made posing improvements from the Olympia as he was posing it a little bit awkwardly last year, the whole year last year. I think he posed it better uh, at the show here. And overall for him, it was just a very, very clear win. He was pretty much heads, heads and shoulders above everybody else. But when you compare it to second place Miroslav right in the front pose, you really see there's a difference between the two of them with their conditioning in the front. Just look through the midsection, through the abs and through, uh, through the core, right? Through the obliques. You see that really crisp conditioning in Miroslav that Aaron's conditioning is good, but he needs that crispness in the conditioning at the Olympia when he's going up against the best in the world. So for him, just filling out the chest a little bit more and really dialing in on the conditioning. Can't afford to be good with conditioning at the Olympia when you're vying for the title. You have to be great. You have to be 100% on and look perfect, basically. So that's what he has to work on for the Olympia and not much else. In second, like I said, we had Miroslav. I think Miroslav's front pose is very, very good. I actually like the angle that he hit his front pose in Romania last year more than I liked how he hit it at this show. I think he was trying to angle just a little bit too much. But nevertheless, very, very strong front pose. It almost is Ryan Terry-esque with the overall fullness and balance and conditioning that he brings. He brings really nice detail through the midsection, through the obliques, through the abdominals. His chest is nice and full. His shoulders and arms are not too big by any means, but they are very, very well balanced. So the shoulders, arms, and chest, everything is well balanced in the front pose. Very, very good front pose. So between, you know, looking at third and fourth, he beats them by a lot in the front pose here. Now with the back, he needs to improve his back for sure. He needs definitely more thickness back there. So he gets more detail and he can also use a little bit more width from the back. Um, so for Miroslav from the back, he can actually look at Ryan Terry as an example of what you can do and change your back pose in a short period of time. As we saw, Ryan's back was always a bigger weakness for him. He always had a great front pose, but he really didn't have the detail and the pop to his back. Obviously, that changed last year. I think Miroslav's in that kind of position where if he changes his back pose from a weakness to a strength, then everybody needs to watch out because his front pose makes him a really, really dangerous competitor. In third place, we had uh, Abby. So he has won two shows the last two weeks. Came into here, I think for him, he was just a little bit on the flatter side when it comes to conditioning. For him, he he needs that that conditioning to really help him pop more. So for him, he still needs to fill out the chest. Definitely needs more thickness to the chest for the front pose. Other than that, everything else is, is really good. And then here in the back pose, you can see with some better backs on stage that this is where he needs more thickness and still a little bit more width. And he can easily do that with the frame that he has. So his back needs to be a, a big focus for him moving forward, going to the Olympia and of course afterwards. The chest fullness, I think, will come in time as well. And again, he just has a really nice men's physique look where everything is balanced. Nothing is overpowering. Like I've said before, his arms are at the limit. His arms are at the limit of where they need to be. And now we'll move into fourth place, which was Carlos. And you can see 
when it comes to men's physique, you're seeing the size of the top three guys. And I see the size of Carlos. So Carlos is definitely a little bit too big right now. He, his arms and shoulders are a little bit big and dense, even from shoulder to shoulder throughout the chest. You can see that real density there, right? So he has to streamline his physique if he wants to move up and do better at the Olympia. So with men's physique, sometimes it's hard. You can see some guys might be a little bit on the smaller side. Some guys might be on a little bit on the bigger side, right? That can win shows. He's won a show this year. He has a really, really good look, obviously from the back. I would argue that he actually had the best back pose on stage. And from the back, his triceps aren't really dominating and his shoulders, everything in the back pose is really not too much. So if you just looked at him from the back, you would say, oh, wow, this, this guy's, you know, looks great, has an amazing back. But when you, when you're in the front pose, you can see that the density and almost it gets to the point where we don't want to see, like I said before, the bodybuilder ish look. So he has to streamline that front pose from the arms th through the chest. And then also, I think he can pose a little bit better as well through the front pose. You see, he kind of has a little bit of a short torso and the way he was standing doesn't help that. So it doesn't really accentuate the taper that he does have and the aesthetic look that, that he can bring to stage. So the front pose needs to be changed up a little bit. I think conditioning wise, he can be a little bit uh, crisper from the front so we can see more detail and everything like that. I think if he does that and even brings it down a little bit more, that's going to help him in the streamlining process. But the main thing for him is just streamlining that physique because everything's there. It just needs to be more, more fitting to the men's physique criteria. So that's your recap for the top four in Dubai.